This is it, Pike. We can't let either the missiles or Shahid get past us. Shahid's here to oversee the transport of the missiles. We can kill two birds with one stone. You need to get to the control tower. Check the transport logs. Once we have those, we can pinpoint the missile's exact location. So nothing on satellite. We're going to need you to transmit the exact coordinates. There's a lot of area to cover, and Asamad knows how to hide their stockpile. Got a present for you. A batch of files from the Alcimont servers. Excellent work, Mike. Checking the logs now. The missiles aren't anywhere near the runway. Looks like they're being held in a munitions depot in the mountains. Checking the satellite imagery now. Looks like there's a small trail that leads to the rear of the depot. Marking it on your PDA. On it.
guess this is where planes go to die. Gate sealed off. Must be another way around. All right. Check out the surrounding buildings. See if there's another route inside. Those generators can make a nice distraction.
got a visual on the missiles. Looks like they're being loaded into a convoy outside the warehouse. We need to get to it before they roll out. Once they're mobile, our job gets a lot harder. Yeah, I know. On it. Looks like most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower? No, Shaheed. But your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shaheed's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles? At once, Shaheed. It's Shaheed. Should I take the shot? No, if we do that, we lose the missiles. But if you can still intercept the convoy, we have a chance. Damn it. Looks like the convoy's already headed out. The road the convoy's on snakes through the mountains. If you use the foot trails and move fast, you may be able to catch it at the checkpoint. Great day for a jog. Time, Mike. Don't you think I know that? Up on the top of the bridge. Looks like Shahid's second in command. And he's brought friends. They're probably there to meet up with the convoy. We need to take them out now. The trucks will be here any minute.
This is more like it. Time to use some Halbeck tech to resolve this problem. Sheheed's inside, his head's got to be ringing by now. Good job, Mike. Now be careful. Check to see if Shahid's still breathing. So, you thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world? I had a mission, I carried it out. Yes, and I'd commend you, but you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. your extortion of Nasri, I was expecting a more mercenary welcome. Have you come to kill me as you killed my followers? On behalf of the American government, I am here to take you into custody, Shahid. On behalf of America? America answers only to its wealth. Coming from one of the richest men in the Middle East and son of a privileged family, that seems ironic. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at Hellbeck's feet like a dog, hungry for its weapon. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole? They shipped them to me. Then brand me a thief? I was ordered to recover missiles that were stolen from Halbeck, except now you're telling me they were sold to you. So? There is no difference. There's a huge difference. And everyone who died on that airliner would agree, because that means there's two murderers, not one. Hellbeck will never answer for what they did. And you have destroyed all evidence of their involvement. You're still breathing. My testimony will never survive me. In custody, I will be found, hanged, a suicide. Go back to your Hellbeck masters. Tell them of your great success. I don't work for Hellbeck. Ah, and neither did I. 
A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen, Mr. Data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Elbeck uses you, but you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I believe you, but evidence would help. The missiles are not enough? Perhaps not. I have other information, and I can obtain more. You mean if I let you go? No chance. I give you my word. If you know anything about me, you know I honor a promise when given. When you see Hellbeck for what it is, I will come back and speak to you again. I will not hide, and I will bring proof. All right. I'm willing to see it. What is this proof? Call your agency. Tell them I am dead. But to remove yourself from the area first, before the call, give false coordinates. Unless you wish to speak to your about next. Where are you going? I will contact you, and I think the information I can provide will be worth the time you have spent looking for me. I'm here. I dealt with Shahid. And the missiles? I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Your first priority is... Westridge? Westridge, do you read me? Mike, get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. Get out of what here. What the hell? first. You're in danger. You need to get out of Saudi Arabia. But Halbeck? The missiles? Mike, Halbeck is the one that sent the missiles to your location. I think they wanted to erase the evidence of the missiles entirely. And you along with it. Great, so now I'm reduced to being evidence? How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not cleanly, no. But it had to be one of your handlers in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a short list. I'd like it to be shorter. Any other facts you can give me? If I knew more, I'd share. No one knows I'm talking to you right now. We'll figure this out. For now, I need a way out of Saudi Arabia with the information I got from Shahid. Already on it, Mike. Thanks, Mina. And thanks for saving my ass. It's my job but you're welcome. Besides, I don't really like the idea of anything happening to that ass of yours on my watch. That was an interesting response. I'd like to follow up on that. Later. Just stay alive, Mike. All right? Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. It's to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol's the only thing protecting you right now.
I'm still analyzing the information I got from Shahid, but so far it checks out. He's been busy. And so is Halbeck. So there was a connection between Al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there. Or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated. But I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald Sung, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. Would be nice if I could actually tell someone. Uh, I mean, besides you. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's gotten inside Alpha Protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Well, I can't go back to the agency empty-handed. I'm doing some traveling and espionage is why I took this job in the first place. As for the women, well, I've already met you. I can strike that one off the list. Charming. Besides, it'll be fun. If you say so. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. The reporter. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track of her.
I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. I think I've got you beat. You ever been a pushy woman in the heart of Arabia? Once. Lost a bet. Cute. Yeah. You could keep that up the entire flight, I bet. Did you already have plans? I was going to invite you to slow down. You're right. It's a long flight. Plenty of time to get your name and hotel room. Wow. You just come right out and say those kinds of things, huh? When I'm not putting my foot in my mouth. By the way, I'm Mike. So, Mike, when you're not getting shot down, what do you do with yourself that would bring you out to this part of the world? Secret agent. <laughs> right. It's better if you don't believe me anyhow. All right, be honest. Has that worked on anyone? How impressed are you? Not. All right. My turn's over. How about you? Those your legs? Other page. Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Hmm. I heard she's on this flight. Photojournalism. Isn't that a bit dangerous, Scarlet? If there's no risk, it's not important. You may be onto something. Here. Call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. What if I want to call, just to be endearing? You should call someone else. Wow, you're tough. It seems to be endearing, unfortunately. Yeah, but strip off that tough exterior. Mike, your persistence is bordering on dense. Maybe, but is it working? <laughs> your... Uh, I have work to catch up on. Yeah, and I should, uh... Good night, Mike. situated nice place I kind of hope this operation lasts a while I could get used to this all right what do we got from the information Shahid gave us it's not clear what the link is between Halbeck and Al Samad in Rome but it does list the local Al Samad cell leader a Jibril Al Bara but you know you have this really cute way of broadcasting trouble with your tone it's part of my charm what's the problem there's a CIA listening post here in Rome, and it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. And El Samad, it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar, but that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. Any chance of keeping an eye on them, or bugging the system, tapping into their network? It's possible, but you'd need to slip in there without being detected. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op which will make finding the Al Samad cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on Al Samad and Halbeck. It looks like there's an NSA echelon listening post in Rome. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. It looks like it's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding me. Stranger things have happened. So those are my options? Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara? What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a check of Halbeck employees and ex-employees in Rome. 
One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Conrad Marburg. What do you have on him? Not much. He seems to avoid the spotlight. He's not showing up on many sites or search results. All right. So what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one. At least as of a year ago. He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the Veteran Combat Initiative. They're mercenaries. Uh, Ex-American military, right? Right. They're not too discriminating about the contract, as long as a firefight is involved. Hmm. All right. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your screen now. His dossier doesn't have much on him. And some of the early details seem sketchy to me. Mike? What's wrong? Something tells me Marburg's our real problem. But let's figure out the Al-Samad connection first. They're a little more knee-jerk than Halbeck. Do you think Shahid will help? I'm certain, especially if Halbeck's involved. I'll contact him, see what I can find out about Elbara.
I think I just got salmonella by looking at this place. Gotta keep the public from dropping in for a cone. Good point. I'd say their cover is working beautifully. Okay. You'll need to come up with a good reason to be here. Hmm. Looks like they're scheduled for server maintenance and security upgrades this month. That might get you in. I think I can smooth talk my way past them. Don't play games, Mike. These guys are trained to spot double agents and imposters. If their post is compromised, they'll shut it down and we'll lose our access. You'll also need to give the correct handshake code to identify yourself as an agent. Secret handshakes? What are we, the Shriners? It's a specific passphrase that rotates on a monthly basis. You give the correct phrase, they give the correct response, and you both know everything's on the level. So what's the code? Tell them that the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. They should respond with, yes, but the Alps are lovely all year long. Got it. Let's see if anybody's home. Can I help you? I'm here to fix the computers. We don't have a problem with the computer. I hear the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. I don't like the mountains. And you're here to fix the computers? He didn't give the response for his. Something's wrong. Uh, yeah. Say, about those Adirondacks. I told you I don't like mountains. Come on. I'll show you the computers. That's not the response phrase. Stay on guard, Mike. If my code is out of date, they might suspect you're not on the level. So, my friend, what do you need? Nothing serious. Just here to upgrade your security systems. Oh. Okay, you got it. So, oh, no more computer troubles, eh? You should be all set. Fort Meade can rest easy now. Hey, my friend! Gone to go? Mike, I've just detected a source within the VCI branch office doing a search for your profile. Although they've got the height wrong. Why are they doing a search now? They already found me. It looks like the analyst isn't doing it on company time. I have the workstation called up. It's using the workstation Parker used while he was undercover as a Halbeck contractor. What? The ID on the badge used to access the office is a Madison St. James. What's her role at the company? A full background check may take some time. But from skimming her dossier, she looks like a new employee. Got a picture? Calling it up now. Hmm. She's pretty. Recognize her? No, I think I'd remember. But if she's tied to Marburg, I think we've got a way to get to him after all.
I'm in. Seems pretty quiet. It is a listening post. The CIA's upstairs, and they probably have a guard in the lobby, so keep an eye out. Will do. Going to take a quick look around. Cable's cut. Huh? What do you mean, static? All right, I'll check downstairs. Probably blew another fuse. <laughs> what am I, the fucking electrician? Need a flashlight. Accessing the database and downloading the software. All right. Receiving. We're good. Listening in on the listening post. Gotta love this job. Control room's locked from the inside. No other entrances I can see. Looks like the only way to get it to open is to get them to open it. I'll think of something. Looks like an air conditioning duct. Too small to fit through, but this ought to do the trick. What are you doing? Mike, don't kill them. There's got to be another way. Just giving them a scare. A little something I learned in third period science. What the hell? Over here! Ah! 